Yo, what's up? So today I want to talk about pretty much everything you need to know about the collection events in Bloom's TD6. Whenever there is a collection event going or I post an image of a gold border insta monkey, I get so many questions like how do you get this? Are there black borders as well? What is the best way to farm and stuff like that? So I thought let me do a quick video explaining everything related to these collection events because they are all the same but with a different theme. I'm gonna talk about the collection event system and how it works, so the rewards, the bonus maps, picking your insta monkeys, getting gold and black borders on your insta monkey collection, the three best and most efficient ways to grind on these events, and at the end I'll talk about cheats, hacks and scripts that people use which I do not recommend using but I'll tell you more about that at the end of the video. So let's quickly explain the collection event system. This whole screen that you're looking at is pretty simple to understand. There's this bar at the bottom and you play maps. You collect totems or candy or easter eggs depending on the theme and it slowly fills up unlocking a different chest whenever you hit a certain milestone. The wooden chest gives you two insta monkeys between tier 1 and tier 2. The bronze chest gives you two insta monkeys between tier 1 and tier 3. The silver chest gives you two insta monkeys between tier 2 and tier 3. The golden chest gives you two to three insta monkeys between tier 3 and 4. And the diamond chest gives you two to three insta monkeys between tier 3 and tier 5. On the right side we can see this little square with four different types of towers that rotate every eight hours. This means that we can select which tower we want to get insta monkeys for and this makes it a little bit easier to kind of focus down one single tower and get all the insta monkeys for it. Alright let's move on to the maps. The maps give bonus rewards. There will be one map in each category that's going to give you bonus rewards or bonus collectibles. So one beginner, one advanced, one intermediate and one expert map will have bonus rewards. You beat that map on any difficulty and the map with bonus rewards changes and the new one will be randomly selected. These are the maps that we're going to be farming but I'll talk more about that in a second. And sometimes DCs and ACs give collectible rewards although I haven't seen much of that in the last collection event so who knows if that's still going to be a thing but I just wanted to mention it as another way of getting collectibles. After you have collected all the possible tier 0 to tier 4 variations for a tower, you will get a gold border for that insta monkey. After you have collected every single possible insta monkey variation, including the tier 5s, that's when you get a black border for that insta monkey. Alright, so that's how the system works. Now let's move on to farming insta monkeys and the three best ways of grinding. The maps that we're going to be focusing on are the expert maps with bonus rewards. They are hands down the best value for your time spent playing the game. The first way of grinding is playing the bonus rewards expert maps on easy standard mode. This takes about 6 minutes on average give or take depending on your towers and your positioning meaning you can go in and out of games very quickly. If you have somewhere to be and you want to get a quick game or two in without playing too much but still being efficient play your bonus reward expert map on easy standard. So the pros are that this only takes a few minutes per game and anyone can do it. It's really not hard to beat an expert map on easy mode and is also very efficient. But the cons are that this is not the most efficient way of farming. This quickly becomes annoying and it feels very unrewarding. You gotta play six maps to open one diamond chest. The second way of grinding is playing the bonus rewards expert maps on Impopable. This is more efficient than the previous one, but it takes a bit more time. So I'd say about 20 minutes on average, maybe a bit more. And as far as I know, this is the most efficient method of farming in general. A nice little bonus is that after you've beaten Impopable mode on an expert map, you will get a tier 3 or a tier 4 insta monkey for beating round 100. So the pros of this are that this is the most efficient way to farm. It feels way more rewarding than grinding easy mode and you get a tier 3 or a tier 4 insta monkey on top of it after beating it. The cons are that not everyone can beat impoppable mode on the experts and it takes a bit more time to finish a game. Now the way that I grind is the third and I think the best way of grinding it is by mixing things up. If I'm bored and I have the time then I'll play a game or two on impoppable. If not, I'll do some maps on easy standard, getting a few games in and being efficient at the same time. And honestly, I don't even like playing in poppable mode on all of the extra maps. So whenever there is a map that I don't like, I would just play the easy mode on that map and get a new bonus map going. 
So my advice for you guys is to actually do this. Play whenever you want, play whatever you want, but make sure you're being efficient, switching between easy mode and impoppable, depending on what you feel like doing. Now let's finish off with the hacks, cheats and scripts as a way of farming. Now before I start talking about this, I want to say that I'm 100% against using cheats or hacks or external software that is meant to give you an unfair advantage or in this case rewards you haven't worked for and this video will not teach you how to use them. I've never used them personally although I think I know how they work and that's what I want to talk about along with why you should not use them. The majority of these so-called hacks are pretty much scripts as far as I know. A script which runs on your computer and is told to do the same thing over and over again. The script is a set of commands which essentially plays the game for you. It places a tower in a certain spot, upgrades it, buys a new tower, upgrades that one, etc. I would imagine they usually run on easy mode because they are easier to make. The script buys the least amount of towers and upgrades them just enough to win. After the game is done, it hits free play mode, it hits restart and starts all over again. And you don't have to do anything besides let your computer run, come back in a few hours and you're gonna have dozens of diamond chests waiting to be opened. All of this sounds very appealing, but you should definitely not be doing it. The catch here is that these sorts of things are not allowed by Ninja Kiwi and they may lead to your account getting banned. In the Ninja Kiwi terms of service, under limited license content and ownership, they explicitly say that attempts to modify, hack, cheat, autoplay, bot, data sniff, among other things, will lead to suspension of your account. So if you decide to try these things out, your account can get banned. Another thing is that this takes out the whole point of the collection events and I know the system is not perfect, I've talked a lot in the past about how bad I think it is and how impossible it is for the honest player to get a single black border, let alone all of them. But cheating your way to a black border insta monkey is definitely not the way to go. The whole fun of it is to work for it yourself and be able to show it off because you put the time in and you grind it for it. So that's it for this video, I hope you guys learned a few things about the collection events, stay away from those scripts and hacks, play the game and have fun with it, and hopefully Ninja Kiwi does something to fix the system and make the whole grind more enjoyable and possible. Thanks for watching, consider subscribing if you're new here, leave a like if you enjoyed the video and I'll see you guys in the next one.